In World War I, the British Army developed a complex system called sound ranging to locate enemy guns on the battlefield. Sound ranging used special microphones to detect the sound of an enemy gun and then applied physics to follow that sound back to the gun's location. And it's still in use today, 95 years later. In the First World War, the problem was, in order to get a triangulation, an accurate fix on where the guns were, you had to have a range of microphones spread out over yards, even miles. Today, the modern soldier can pinpoint the enemy with a speed that would have been unthinkable in World War I. With modern microprocessors and computer speeds and, and um, um, miniaturization on the battlefield, we've now got the ability to, rather than detect whole batteries of artillery guns firing at us, one of the systems we use um, and that's available um, does use microphones and can be fitted onto a vehicle. And we are looking at ways of miniaturizing it sufficiently so that it can be carried by the infantry soldier um, without undue burden. As soon as he shoots at you, you get the answer. Physics don't change over the years, it's still the same stuff, we just do it better and we do it quicker.